Hey guys, welcome back to another episode with me, Budget Gaming HD. And in today's episode, we will be discussing the last CCTV system that you'll ever need to buy. So you don't want to miss that. So in today's episode, I'm extremely excited to introduce to you guys this fantastic little CCTV camera for your house system or outdoor or wherever you want to use it. I'm actually considering using it as a dash cam. I'm not joking, seriously, dash cam. This works with your standard wireless inside your home. It has a mounting bracket on the side. So if you want to mount it against your wall on the side, as I will be showing to you guys in a moment how I've done mine. It has a two megapixel HD camera and it has a memory card slot so you can back up those videos. Completely 360 degrees dome action so it turns around and it goes up and down so you will have visibility everywhere so let's check out how the camera actually looks and how i fitted it let's open up the box as you can see just standard packaging with your camera nicely sealed then a nifty handbook your charging cable and your mounting bracket for outside or inside wherever you want to use it getting back to the camera as you can see it's quite a nifty camera like i've mentioned it's got a dome action it's got a two-way radio it has its micro sd slot and where you plug in your 5 volt charging cable. It's just a standard cell phone charger, so anything will work. And then at the back, your mounting bracket where you can mount it. And then, of course, the camera itself, which I find is very nifty. Onto the app setup. This app setup is very easy to use. You just download the app that they give you the QR code to, and we do the configurations. One would be a Wi Fi connection. That's where you use your cell phone app to connect to your Wi Fi. And then from your Wi Fi connection, it connects back to your camera like this. Number two is 4G connection. However, this camera does not support 4G connection, and I would be pretty surprised if it did for the price. Number three is a hotspot direct connection. That's where you set up a hotspot from your phone and it connects directly to your cell phone. Number four is a hotspot config to Wi-Fi. This is similar to number three, where you set up a hotspot only where this transfers the information from your Wi-Fi onto your camera. So basically you connect the hotspot to the camera. You'll hear a couple of beeping noises to make sure that you're connected. And from there, you'll type in your Wi-Fi details, your SSID and password that will push it out to the camera and you're connected. And then a network cable connect. This camera does not support net network cable connect. And I'm quite satisfied that it doesn't because I'm more a Wi-Fi guy than a straight connection guy. Just a couple of meters of trunking and the camera has been mounted. IR for night vision. And speaking of night vision, here is some real life footage of the camera that's outside. Personally, I think for the price, the camera quality is not bad at all. This is a fantastic little camera and seeing that it's only connected via Wi-Fi, the response time is pretty excellent. Now, as you guys can see, because of my neighbors I had to blur out some stuff just to give them some privacy. However, you can still see pretty much what you need to see. Like I've also mentioned, this is a 360 degree camera. Well, for the most part, it turns around practically 360 degrees and you can turn it up to its limits as I'm doing right now and then you can turn the camera clockwise to see the opposite side however that's pointing to my door so you can't really see much you'll notice the blue at the bottom that is just the timeline where you can rewind your video if you have a micro SD card installed One thing also that I do love about this camera is you have to set up a pin for each and every camera, which is quite good. It's quite annoying if you have to look at your camera every single day, but I mean, if you're used to it and you just want to check it for security purposes, then the pin is actually fantastic. Next, I'll be showing you guys how to go back on your history like I'm doing right now at the bottom. It's just a simple click and drag if you're on your PC. And if you're on your mobile phone, it's pretty much the same. As you can see, there I am. As you can see, that's me at the moment, just recording myself and then waving. I think, honestly, this quality is not too bad. And speaking of quality, you can shift it between HD and Full HD depending on your internet speed and how good of a quality you want to view at the moment. So that's a wrap for this episode, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I do appreciate it. Remember to hit that notification bell to stay up to date with my latest content. Please remember to like and subscribe. Obviously, if you enjoy my channel and enjoy the content I'm making for you guys, just to get back to this camera, I think it's absolutely fantastic. I've been using them for about two maybe three weeks now. And honestly, for the price, you cannot get anything better or more stable. They haven't dropped me once. They don't restart. The two-way radio is fantastic. The recording quality is fantastic. Everything is on demand as I wanted. 
This episode was not sponsored, so this is my 100% unbiased opinion. I absolutely love them. If you would like to buy one for yourself, please check the link in the comment section below and I can hook you up. So guys, thank you so much for watching and I shall see you soon.